Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to review the Moto X. This is the 2014 version, and as you can see, it's in white. It comes in white and black, and then you can customize it however you like, and that means customizing the back. This is actually the bamboo back. You can get leather, you can get a plastic. It's really a very nice phone, and quite a step up build quality-wise compared to last year's Moto X. Here I have last year's Moto X, and you can see it's a little bit smaller, a little more plastic feel has this little dimple that they put in here and you can feel the same dimple here only they've enlarged it and kind of made it metal feeling so you can see it's a little bit bigger and they've increased the camera they've basically made everything better as compared to last year's this was a pretty good build this is a much better build as far as the way it feels as you can see the outside rim is an aluminum color and that's because it actually is metal so outside here is a metal band you can see these little lines uh, probably for the antenna and around the outside it's just built extremely well the phone comes in at $99 with a two-year contract from Verizon now if you want to customize it further you can do that and it may cost you a little bit more on Motorola's site but what you can see here is this metal band on top like I said in the center, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, SIM card tray. On this side, nothing at all, just these dividers for the antenna. On the bottom, our micro USB. On this side, we have our volume up and down and power sleep wake button. And they're textured as well, at least the power button is. So I don't know if you can see that little texture there, but it, it's really nice to know uh, what you're feeling when you feel which one is which. It really helps you just kind of understand what that is. So on the front you can see we've got a bunch of different sensors and these are to kind of wake it up so when you wave your hand over it it wakes up uh, and just knows you're there and then will notify you of what's going on. The display is a 1080p display. It's an AMOLED capacitive touchscreen and is 5.2 inches diagonally. It's 424 pixels per inch and it looks pretty good and it's covered with Corning Gorilla Glass 3. You do have a choice of 16 or 32 gigabytes of storage and also this has 2 gigabytes of RAM. Now the actual processor inside is pretty decent as well. Instead of being a mid-of-the-line processor it's a little higher end this time around. It's a quad core 2.5 gigahertz. It's also got an Adreno 330 GPU. So overall pretty nice and then inside we have a 2300 milliamp hour battery so not as good as it's bigger brother now with the huge battery the droid turbo but overall it's a decent battery the camera on the back is 13 megapixels and it's also got this dual LED flash that's encapsulated in this ring now on the front we also have our forward-facing camera as well it's two megapixels for those that were wondering then you have all these little sensors and on the white version you're gonna see this a little more than you would on the black version just because you'll see these cutouts and it makes a difference now the phone itself feels really nice on this bamboo here you can see I don't know if it's because it's dry here or what but it's almost like it's pulling apart a little bit uh, the build like I said is really good it feels solid but this wood back uh, you can actually see where some of the glue spilled over right here so there's some of that going on it's made in America it's in Texas where they assemble these anyway uh, the parts come from elsewhere but it does have a little bit of give to it and I'm hoping it stays glued down for the long time long term but uh, it's hard to say overall though it feels solid in the hand it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic phone it feels like a high quality premium phone let's go ahead and turn it on here it's very low on battery but it's got 1% charge it's been on two days and 15 hours and about a third of that time has been on standby so the battery is pretty good it should get most people through the day it's also been Bluetooth tethered to the Moto 360 smartwatch and notifying that as well so it's it's really held up pretty good now if this stays on I'll show you the display here uh, it's pretty good. It's it's a little bit washed out, not quite as vibrant as I would expect from an AMOLED display. But overall, I think most people will be happy with it, especially coming from last year's Moto X. I think most people will be pretty pleased with it. It's very responsive and has a nice beveled edge, uh, like some other premium smartphones as well. So it's, it's very nice to hold in your hands, uh, especially without a screen protector or anything on it. It feels really nice and is definitely nice to use. I can't wait until they put Android Lollipop on it. That's, that's a little bit better. You can see some of the icons have changed 
to reflect that. Google Maps hasn't been updated yet on this device, but overall, uh, this device feels really nice and definitely will make some people happy throughout the year who are using it. Now, the camera on the back is a little bit of a disappointment. It's very, very hit or miss, and it's shutting down now, but it's very, very hit or miss as far as when it takes a photo and if it's consistent quality or not. Sometimes it's really good, other times it's very poor and it's hard to say which one is it's going to take and when and why and uh, what is actually causing it to not be so good. So sometimes I took a great photo and it looked as good as any other smartphone. Then I'd take the same photo and it wouldn't focus right. Then I'd take the photo again and it would be grainy. So I don't know what's going on with the software with KitKat in here, which this runs. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with it, but hopefully it, it fixes itself with a software update, but it's hard to say until that's out for this device. Now the speakers on the device sound decent, they're not fantastic, uh, and you would think these would both be speakers, but they're not stereo speakers. This is the speaker, this is the microphone for when you're talking on the phone. I really wish they would have made these speakers, and they actually stick out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but they, they stick out from the display a little bit. So I was really hoping that these would both be stereo speakers, but they're not. You just have this top one, and at high volumes, it's not the clearest speaker, and it's not the highest quality speaker. Uh, HTC has seemed to really get that pretty nailed down with their HTC One and this really doesn't compare. The sound quality from a mono speaker doesn't compare with an iPhone 6 as well. So if you've heard that, uh, it's, just, it's just not a very good speaker. But as a phone, it's pretty good. Um, it feels good in the hand. It's great to use and is definitely a step up from last year's model. That, that one concern about the build of this back is a little bit of a concern and if you got leather it's hard to say how that will hold up over a year that depends on how you take care of things as well but it's a great phone and for $99 it's really a great device and will make a lot of people happy especially those that custom order it I'd love to hear what you have to say about the Moto X please let me know in the comments below let us know if you've used one or what you think is better if you've tried that out love to hear what you have to say if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe comment like as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time